Imagine, if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee, turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. Well, it's not as far-fetched as it may seem. In fact, both local San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money to try and get a service just like that started. Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system. Good morning folks, Friday, off into work, it's half past ten, just waiting for Gemma and uh, Abigail to get dressed. I've had a shower this morning, chopped the mop, got in touch with Brewers Select, sorted out an account with them. They have, I shouldn't really tell you this, they have lots and lots and lots of mosaic in stock. I shouldn't tell you because you might pinch it all and I want it for the new vacant gesture. But anyway, uh, yeah, the account's pretty much set up. We can buy from them guys. Just a few more accounts to set up with niche solutions for cleaning products and uh, Charles Farron for some yeast, but they're pricey, pricey as hell. So yeah, we're gonna shoot into the, uh, into the brewery now. I wanna prep up the fermenting tanks and get the insides of them finished so we can get the outsides of them clad. Also got to pressure test the jackets, so I'll be doing that today. Right, well before we drag them other tanks in, I'm just pushing the insulation up a little bit around uh, the edge of this tank, and then we're gonna fill it up with some of this gun foam. And uh, that should then create a, a seal at the base of the tank, pretty much to prevent the foam from, uh, the insulation from falling out and prevent any nasties getting up in there. So I've not used this foam gun since I last cleaned it, so fingers crossed this doesn't end in a disaster. That's why I put the camera on, just in case it does. Oh yeah. She's behaving well. Just stop there and reposition. I'm not getting under it because if it falls out, well, I'll never get that out of my bloody hair. Not in a month of Sundays, me duck. So, uh, yeah, I'll spin round and I'll do the other side. Well, I spent a good couple of hours in there cleaning the inside of this tank up, reflowing any welds and what have you, and repairing the leak that we found. We've got the pressure test. Well, I've just done another pressure test. She's passed, you'll be pleased to know, but unfortunately, I did a little bit of hydroforming at the same time. So you might not be able to see it very well, but I've buckled just there. It's smooth, 
down the bottom we've buckled the tank so I'm just gonna lean in with the leather mallet and pop it back in it's almost in a few more taps so I don't want to be putting anything more than 15 psi into these tanks otherwise I'm gonna end up deforming that every time there you go then do you know how to do it? It's not that heavy. <laughs> Where's the nail? Have you got this here, look? So put the hook on it. That's it. And then pull down. Go and pull it. Yay! And Abby, there's another it's one. There, look. It's in the end. Oh, steady then. <laughs> Pull down then. Oh, it's not on, is it? <laughs> now, oh, sometimes you have to push up on them hard. How's that? Oh, it's a tough one, this. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> well done. Right, do you want a job? Yeah. Right then, how much should it work for an hour? Pound? Pound an hour? <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I've enlisted some help. I've got the Umpa Lumpers working for me. He just calls us Umpa Lumpers. <laughs> <laughs> that means I'm Willy Wonka. Umpa look. Anyway, we're starting to clad this now. I've done the inside of most of the tanks, actually. They do need pickling paste, and one of them needs the, uh, the trim put on the top there. But I think I'm just gonna do that another day and probably uh, spend the rest of the afternoon putting the timber banding on the other ones ready for ready for the uh, match boarding to go on well I made a right balls up on this one so I've actually put the outlet for the glycol smack bang above the leg so I've made this little J hook that links underneath the cooling collar thing and runs up and sits underneath there so we managed to push the whole thing to one side and that's cantilevered there so it shouldn't ever fall off and then I've started to put the insulation on this tank but I've just peeled this away and dropped the insulation back and sent Gemma down to Argos she's going to pick up some cheap 15 pound electric heating blankets and that's what we're going to use should we need to heat the tank at all. I don't think we're gonna have to, but I wanna have the option built in should I, should I require it. So we're gonna stick that to the tank before we go ahead and put the lagging over the top. Right, Abigail's got me an electric blanket, aren't you, my chickadee? <laughs> so what we're gonna do is open these. Oh yeah, they look about the right size too. So yeah, we're gonna stick this onto the back of the fermenter with the control cable poking out next to where the glycol and everything goes in and we'll be able to probably replace that with a thermostat at some point but uh, yeah we'll be able to heat we'll be able to heat the uh, the tanks for diastole rest and everything like that so let's have a look where's it gonna go Right then, so we want that bit dangling doing that through the late pet. Why is this string on it? So you can tie it round. Oh, that's about perfect, that, isn't it? So how do I hold this up while I put the insulation on? I think something just as simple as a bit of duct tape should do it. Right, if it's just there, as long as I can get to the tank, come down a little bit. What, just my hands will bring the blanket down? Blanket down so I can just get to the tank. Right, that's one piece on. And that bit. It's actually grabbed it quite well. And then that bit. That bit there. 
have to make sure that that's engaged. Is that in the right place? And then we want it to sort of hang out across there. It's going to be trapped, isn't it? I'll just have it hanging loose for now. And I can at least get a push, pull some insulation away and access it uh, if I'm desperate in the future. Provide enough heat. Well, it's only it. to. It's a bit background heat. You know, like if it's really cold in here and mm. we get stalled fermentation, yeah. it'll help with that. And then every, any other time, we just turn it on, and over a day or two, it might raise it from 18 to 22 degrees, and that'll allow me to do a diacetyl rest. So uh, let's pop the installation back on. But that looks good, I think. Right, I might just pop that there. Get my dust mask on, on my gloves, time lapse it. We're about to wrap it up guys on a Friday evening. It's gone half past five. I managed to get shot of some of the smaller pieces of timber. So fingers crossed using these small offcuts, I might be able to manage with what wood we've actually got by putting this center band on. It's allowed me to do a join. You can just see it there on a few boards. So I'm gonna run half a dozen boards and a full one, half a dozen boards and a full one. And I'll do that around the back of the tank of course. So from the front, you can see I've just used the, the full boards on the front. So I think we'll get this one clad in no time at all. Both tanks, all three actually, have now passed their pressure tests and leak tests. Uh, this one still doesn't have, I think I mentioned that, doesn't have the trim on the top. But yeah, I'm pretty much done for the day. I'm just waiting for Gemma to come back. I'm gonna jump in the car. I'm gonna go and have a shower. I'm gonna come back to the brew shed and I'm gonna have a pint. So I'll see you on a Saturday morning, bright and early. Shit, a lot's gonna happen. Cheers, folks, see you then. Less than fashionable cubby hole at the San Francisco Examiner. These editors are programming today's copy of the paper into that same Ohio computer. When the telephone connection between these two terminals is made, the newest form of electronic journalism lights up Mr. Howard.